Guys, are you ready? Are you ready for the hottest take of all time? I don't I don't Oh, Attack on Titan ki music chal raha hai. Guys, are you ready? Are you ready for the hottest take of all time? I don't I don't think you're actually ready. So just brace yourself, all right? Ye to Aul ki theme hai bhai, Attack on Titan mein. One of my favorite music. Here it comes. Demon Slayer. Actually mein Aul ki theme hai aur ye wo bhi hai tumhara. Big Girl jo track hai. Player is giving an opinion about a shonen anime is kind of like walking into the ghetto in the middle of a gang war and expecting not to get lynched you say a show is great you get beaten the fuck up you say a show is trash you get beaten the fuck up you say you like your character you get beaten the fuck up you say you don't like your character you get beaten the fuck up you say a show is okay you will get a hit put on you and everyone around you as all your closest acquaintances will be assassinated one by one as you're forced to look on in despair as everyone you've ever loved will pay the consequence for your dumb stupid actions that you've brought upon the world and then you get beaten the fuck up so anyway i just watched the new demon slayer Yep, I'm going to be a normie today and talk about Demon Slayer. But before that, I'd like to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, Square Enix. And this is a Play Store. This case, you need to be in card until you be a feel and ask you how it costs you. Demon Slayer, they have it. And you can all celebrate bonuses. So, giving it a go, there is a series that has completely blown away my expectations on just how popular it would get. Season 1, episode 19, broke the internet. The manga sold like a bajillion more volumes than the previous Undisputed King, One Piece. The movie became the top grossing anime movie of all time. All time. time here in Japan, it is full on mainstream with every single age range alike, and it just keeps breaking records left, oh, right, and center. This Japan with like kids watch, like it's pretty gory and everything. So I knew, as with every shonen battle series, I was probably going to get popular. But since my last video, I don't think it's an understatement to say that it's become a worldwide sensation. And yeah, the question that's always been on popular. my mind is, why? I spent a good amount of time trying to rationalize it in Very my head. Very good question, actually. Doing some Sherlock Holmes level brain expansion deductive reasoning, piecing together all the possible reasons, all the little nuances, combing through the smallest details, trying to justify what sets it apart this much for it to have the impact that it does around the world. And then I watched season two and I was like, oh. It's just because the show fucking slaps. Demon Slayer's Entertainment District arc is some of the most pure, undistilled hype I've ever had the pleasure to experience in the shonen genre. No crazy complicated power systems or five head battle strategies, just pure hype. I'm going to assume you've already seen the new season in this video because let's be honest, you're not here to listen to me to help you decide whether you should be watching it because you probably already are. It's freaking Demon Slayer. And I just wanted to gush about it a bit because we have one thing we can thank for that. Studio UFO table. You know, just a while ago, I might have been just a little bit. Fuck! Just a tiny bit salty. Fuck! When Mugen Train had beaten out the likes of Mushoku Tensei in the animation department in the anime awards, because I thought it was unfair that a movie level production was being compared to a TV series. But the Entertainment District arc showed me that UFO table don't give a flying fuck about movie level production when everything they do now is apparently movie level quality. This oh, is better than. Oh, UFO table is the. Tomare. The studio that is producing it. Okay. Season one. Better than their own movie. Better than... And it hurts me to say it. Bhai sahab, ye sequence. Main ne baat ke pura ye sequence record ka. Sojas ko main dalu apne Instagram pe bhi. Sirf ye sequence dikhane ke liye maine kaha, that's why anime. Batao ye kahan ho raha hai. Ye jo sequence hai. Bhai sahab, jisne nahi dekha. Bas ye fight scene dekh lo. Tema ghoor jayega tumhara. Mark this, possibly anything else they've worked on so far. Look, you know me, I would die defending fate if I needed to, Astolfo body pillar in hand and all, and I'm gonna take a moment to tell you to go fucking watch the Heavens Feel movies, because it is the studio at the top of their game, but as much as I love fate, there is also a lot of this. <laughs> When we see amazing fight sequences, it normally only lasts a few minutes. Even Demon Slayer Season 1 revolved around one short, explosive moment of animation that ended the fight. But Season 2 gave us like six episodes in a row of high intensity, squeaky bum, full nut action that rivaled and sometimes even exceeded the shit you see in movie level productions. In a TV series, what they've done here is absolutely fucking insane. And this wasn't just your tip. True. Now I see the title, I'm like, they did set a new standard, actually. This action I haven't seen in anime. Mein nahi dekha. I just realized that, ki, you know, jab, when I was watching it, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? And you're, you're right. Maybe other anime, your production houses, they also watched it and they were like, 
it'd be cool flashy no choreography action there was some really cool shit going on one of the highlights for me was just seeing how they portrayed a battle on multiple fronts normally when you have a team battle in anime it's not really a team battle but a series of individual fights matchups are separated battles don't interfere with one another geologically they might not even be near each other entire fights will be segmented by episodes so it's crystal clear who's fighting who but this was nothing like that. Attacks weave in from one battlefield to another. Strikes will come in tandem or separate, depending on the ebb and flow of things. Characters actually switch targets depending on the state of the fight. It felt like the battle itself had a life of its own. It was organic. It was constantly moving, constantly changing. This actually felt like one massive battle with a ton of smaller moving parts making it up. This is what a spectacle of the highest degree looks like. Mainstream or not, I gotta give respect when respect is due. The visuals were out of this world. The sound design gave life to every attack. The music Send chills down my spine. The story was solid. <sighs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Look at this guy doing <laughs> demon slayer. Yeah, watch this. I'm about to end his entire career. Demon slayer, more like deep mid slayer. <laughs> When Christ himself resurrected from the dead, performing an impossible miracle for the world to see, Shonen fans were like, yeah, that was mid. Anytime I even <laughs> mentioned Demon Slayer, I actually got to mute the thread because of the amount of shit being thrown from every angle. But and it's, I understand that. I understand that because I myself, when I was watching the show, and I'm like, Ki, I know I, the familiarity is strongly there. And obviously, this manga, first of all, it's over, right? This manga is complete. Ho chuki hai. And the ending, I haven't read it, I haven't touched it, but it's... Apparently they did a good job. Good job. Okay, the storyline Demon Slayer is completely over. And it's actually a good story. Like, people appreciate that the ending is tight. So I'm very excited to see the entire thing in anime. Now, having said that, there are aspects to it which I don't know, they feel like I'm not enjoying it. You know? Other than that, then there are moments which I'm not enjoying it. See, this is, I think, why Demon Slayer is something which you can avoid. Bhi but you can't say that in anime, mein, like this is the anime you recommend and if you are a person, you just tell me anime. Because it will raise You are like, Demon Slayer, I wouldn't want to put in that list. Because even though the cool mo moments you have in Demon Slayer, if you can wait and you can see, you will raise your mind. But in the storyline, you are not, like it's not, it's, it's, it's it's predictable, familiar, plus also at times very annoying. And I don't know, I don't know. I think thousands of people have said thousands of times that the comedy does not land. It just does not land. I want to laugh. The only anime, I would say not only, coffee anime, but Hunter Hunter ki comedy just landed. Very funny, at least to me. Black Clover maybe. There are moments where you I laughed out loud, loud. Okay, but Demon Slayer is just just annoying sometimes the screeching and all of that shit but then it resurrects or if it redeems itself in a more in a at a at a pace if it, you know in a way ki aapka, you're just like dekhna padega. i have to watch this the amount of people acting like they have massive cocks because they can call a popular show everyone else likes mid i don't know what this obsession is with the show that's just that's just people trying to find their identity मैं कोई चीज को शिट कर सकता हूं तो बाय डिफॉल्ट कोई पॉपुलर चीज को नीचे करके मैं कूल हो गया इट्स दैट इन कम्युनिटी इन पर्टिकुलर विद कॉलिंग अदर पॉपुलर शोनेन सीरीज मिड लाइक द ओनली ब्रीथिंग टेक्निक दे हैव लर्न फ्रॉम डीमन स्लेयर इज हॉपिंग कोपियम बिकॉज़ हाउ द फक डज दिस काउंट एज मिड ऑल आई एम सेइंग इज इफ यू वांट टू सी मिड ट्राई बीइंग एन इसेक फैन बट हियर्स द थिंग एनी पर्सन जो कि मिड बोल भी रहा है डीमन स्लेयर को दे देन आल्सो यू नो वो चीज बोलते हैं कि यू नो बट देन यस एनिमेशन में आई गेट इट या लाइक एनिमेशन या यस डीमन स्लेयर का एनिमेशन तो एकदम उड़ा देगा दिमाग आपका मेली अडॉप्टेड इट वी वर बोर्न इन इट Molded in it. I didn't see my first good anime until I stopped crossing the road. Yes, Demon Slayer isn't a complex narrative political heavyweight like Attack on Titan is right now, but it doesn't try or need to be. Tanjiro, Inosuke, Zenitsu. They I like, by the way, Tanjiro as a character. My whole mind has a whole video of Tanjiro analysis. Hunt, uh, uh, Hunter and Hunter, wala, Londa, what's his name? Gon's analysis, Aaron Yeager's analysis, Levi's analysis. But... Tanjiro actually is a very beautiful character. Very, very beautiful character. Analysis the point of his hell. It's it's very well written. Tanjiro actually reminds me very much of uh, My Hero Academia. You know? Have an ocean level amount of depth to them. Deku. But they fill the exact role they need to, just like every new character introduced. Midoriya. 
Tengen had some big shoes to fill, coming after Rengoku still with the show, but True. I think he was the perfect guy to do it. Yes, he's a Hashira. Yes, he's confident and powerful, but he's oh so aware about his own limits. He has True. his own people he looks up to, he respects. He knows he's not the greatest or strongest demon slayer to ever live, and it was just really humbling to see a man who had accepted that he wasn't the star that shone the brightest, which made him shine even more. Like, the dude just seems like a chill bro you'd hang out with. Hell, yeah. I'd like to buy him a pint. Okay, and now he's cancelled. Yeah, 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 that was the moment for me as well. I was like, yeah, yeah. Plot conveniences or characters, but at the end of the day, I watch shonen anime for the moments that make my jaw drop on the floor, and Demon Slayer made me open my jaw so wide, a JoJo fan would have thought I'd just finished sucking a thousand dicks, because I think what shines about Demon Slayer is its simplicity. A lot of people like to say, well, Demon Slayer wouldn't be as good if it wasn't for the animation. Yes, and Berserk wouldn't be one of the most beautifully illustrated manga of all time if it was drawn by a drunk ape. Writing, characters, world building, power systems, it doesn't necessarily go above and beyond compared to some of its counterparts, but it doesn't really need to. When it delivers this hard in the moments that matter, it's doing exactly what it needs to do without complicating shit. When you get to this level of popularity this fast, it isn't the intricate nuances that play the biggest factor, it's how well you can execute the simple stuff. Your grandma walks in on you watching other shows and she asks, what's that? And you have to explain, well you see grandma, this kid's trying to find his dad, so they use their nen, which is a power, to transport them into a video game, which isn't really Such a video a game, point. to find clues, and now they're playing a game of volleyball because that's one of his dad's friends, who may or may not know where his dad is, except everyone also has superpowers, like he can use rock, paper, scissors, he can use electricity, and then there's also a clown who can turn his energy into bungee gum. So your grandma goes, I don't get it! <laughs> I really hope your grandma doesn't sound like this. <laughs> As opposed to when she walks in you watching Demon Slayer and you go, Oh, well, this guy's a Demon Slayer and this guy's a demon and he's trying to slice his head off. So your grandma goes, Good. <laughs> Fuck them demons. You got the good guys, you got the bad guys. The bad guys lose when the good guys slice their head off. It's so simple, your grandma can follow along. And so True. every fight is just one massive build up for this single moment. And Demon Slayer pushes this build up to the absolute limit of intensity. The second half of the Entertainment District arc is just a big lead up to one massive crescendo. No amount of lube in the world could prepare my anus for the pure, unadulterated hype that would be entering it. Some of these scenes came with such intensity that I forgot I knew my own breathing technique, called, um, well, breathing. There was some moment. <laughs> Animes, by the way, heavily rely on breathing technique. You know, this kind of thing, keep breathing, and you can, you know, like, which is a good thing, by the way. Moments that literally took my breath away, and it was only after the moment had passed that I remembered to take a deep breath to take in the sheer orgasmic energy I had just experienced. This and double check that I hadn't ejaculated in the process. Forget the simple storyline. Forget the by the book shown in formula, because there are only few shows that are ever able to make me do that. And that's the real reason I wanted to make this video. I didn't need to tell you guys Demon Slayer was a good show. I didn't need to tell you guys to go watch it because by god you probably already are. I wanted to acknowledge when I see something being taken to the next My level. My Hero Academia music? Because that's what I think UFO Table have done for a TV animated series. What we are seeing here is a team who's reached the peak of their craft. Not one who's gotten there by shortcuts, but one who's carefully honed it through years of trials and tribulations. Demon Slayer- No! Dude, is this Full Metal Alchemist? It feels like the culmination of UFO Table perfecting their work through a decade. Please, yeah. Kate of hard work. There was no easy way to get to this point, no shortcut to be taken. And something like this wouldn't be possible without a team motivated enough to keep constantly pushing themselves to achieve even greater heights with every new show they take on. There are only a select few anime studios out there that okay, seemingly come hey, thank you. with a permanent okay, seal okay. of ah, fuck A me. studio like this not only There is a full metal alchemist ka jo brotherhood nahi hai jo normal hai uska hi sound hai na brotherhood sound type wo kafi similar hai samajh lo ga shayad wo hai Set the bar of quality they are the bar of quality and no matter how ridiculous but i've never heard this tumara this soundtrack man demons you know demons layer ke soundtrack I, i like it because it has that tumari uh western wali vibe uh do no 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 Zenitsu. 
ridiculously high we think they may set that bar, somehow they find a way to exceed themselves with every new project. I call it the episode 19 scene a work of art for just how it masterfully is. crafted that segment was, and UFO Table continued to deliver above and beyond with every passing season. Moments so intense, so deeply immersing, that I run out of superlatives I can possibly say. It's incredible. It's a masterclass. Look, if, it's... You, if you just watch Bollywood, I want to talk about it. And you think that creativity is what I'm saying. I'm saying that season, you said season 2 or 3, whatever you want to say, and this episode, whatever you want to say, please watch it. Just watch the episode. You don't need to understand anything. Just watch it for the fucking spectacle. Please. If you haven't seen any anime, anything, just watch this one fucking episode, which he said too. A new standard for anime.